Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at um, discussion uh, essay. Um, let's get straight to the question. So here we have, some people think that parents should teach children to be good members of society. Others, however, believe that school is the place to learn this. Okay, so here we're taking a look at uh, two sides of the argument. Who should take the responsibility? Okay, so here we have parents should teach children. And here we have school is the best place to learn this. Okay, what is this? What are they going to learn? They're going to learn how to be good members of society. So here we're talking about good members of society. Here we're taking a look at um, teaching people, you know, how to be moral, moral citizens, you know, um, upstanding citizens of society. Um, so we're not just talking in general about who should teach uh, children. Okay, so we're really looking at values like honesty, and, you know contributing and being trustworthy and you know um, and things like that so um, of course uh, with discussion essays um, one of the important things is that we discuss both views that we take a look at two sides and we have our own opinions so within the body of the text we really want to see three opinions here the two opinions and your own um, it is possible to do this many ways um, you could always have one opinion in one body paragraph the second opinion in the other the second body paragraph you could do a third body paragraph and introduce your own opinion or possibly you could totally agree with one of the opinions and you could uh, include your opinion with theirs. So here we have turning to the people, including myself, who hold this uh, the belief. Okay. Um, so here, um, this student has taken um, has made the decision to totally agree with one of the sides. Um, also, you could partially agree so you could agree with both sides and say both are significantly important and you know the most important thing is that you clearly present all three opinions so we need to know that you are presenting all three of these opinions within the essay so what you could do is you could just insert you know your opinion here and there into the body paragraphs just so that we know that you are in, in agreement with it or in agreement with certain parts of um, the opinions. Okay, uh, so let's take a look. So here we have, according to some people, it's the sole responsibility of parents to make their children a good member of society. So some people think it is the sole responsibility. So here when we say sole, it's, you know, it's, the responsibility is just on the parents themselves and not on anyone else. Okay. Then we have, while others think that it is rather the responsibility of schools only. Okay, so here we're presenting both sides of the, the um, agreement, the uh, arguments. Um, here we have, however, I'm of the view that parents, that should be maybe, the parents maybe, maybe the parents role is crucial in producing good members hmm now here we have two opinions so we have it's the opinion it's the it's the responsibility of the parents here it's the responsibility of the school okay and here we want your opinion whose responsibility is it now, you could possibly take, you know, many approaches. You could say it's the responsibility of the parents. You could say it's the responsibility of the school. You could take a partial agreement and you could say it's the responsibility of both of them. Both of them should share the responsibility. You could say it's the parents. It's the, you know, parents' responsibility. However, 
maybe schools can help here and there. Maybe schools have a small part in this. We could say it's the responsibility of the schools, but the parents also should, in English we say, you know, informally we say should chip in, so they should um, do something as well. Um, so uh, there are an infinite you know, number of uh, number of positions that you could take in an essay uh, like this, a discussion essay. Um, but what I find strange here is, however, I'm of the view that the parents' role is crucial in producing good members. So I don't know. Here we're just saying that the parents' role is important. So are we saying that um, the school's place isn't important? Or do we believe that the school's, uh, you know, um, has a responsibility towards, you know, uh, teaching children how to be um, moral members of society. So I don't think here the position is that clear. And definitely that's problematic because um, we want to have a clear position from the beginning. The thesis statement is a very important part of the essay. Uh, usually we introduce our opinion within uh, the thesis statement and this not only clarifies the position of the writer but also it creates a link between the introduction and the body paragraphs. So this increases cohesion and that's also what topic sentences do. Topic sentences, they kind of introduce the main idea and then the main idea is um, supported and, and details are given for the main idea and examples and, and so on. So that's what thesis statements do and that's what topic sentences do. Okay, they increase, you know, how linked the essay is, they increase the cohesion within the essay. So here this position, it doesn't seem like it's, it's very clear. Parents have an important role. Does that mean that they should take the responsibility? Does that mean that schools shouldn't take the responsibility? I do not think here that the position of the writer is clear. Okay, I do not think the position is clear. Now, um, we, we do have another issue because uh, in addition to that, um, the writer doesn't really refute, doesn't really refute the importance of schools. Let's take a quick look at this. Uh, we'll leave the language part uh, for later on. Those who insist on schools being wholly responsible for producing contributors beneficial the society points out an important factor. Perhaps schools are the places where children, where students learn to work in groups in harmony. As a result of this practice, they become able to bring positive deployments in their surroundings. For example, the students who are given an assignment to work on together for the welfare of community in school days tend to take care of their societies by joining charities. Now this to me looks like it's a really nice you know argument so schools seem to be very good and if this argument isn't refuted in any way it means we are agreeing with it because we're not really saying that there's anything wrong with that argument you know it looks like it was supported seems like a logical argument We've just been told that children who do charity work and who are encouraged to do charity work really seem to uh, you know, benefit society later on in life. So, yeah, nice argument. Um, is this argument going to be refuted in the second body paragraph to show the importance of parents? It isn't. So here we do have some kind of confusion as to what the position is, and how come, uh, how come the writer presented the opposite position but didn't say anything, uh, didn't add anything to really refute it? Uh, 
Let's take a look at the second body paragraph and see what happened here. Turning to the people, including myself, who hold the belief that, okay, so including myself, so this means that the writer is, is, is in total agreement with, with, uh, with one of the, with the second opinion. So hold the belief that it is parents who actually have a pivotal role in making children helpful uh, for their societies. So here we have uh, a pivotal, a pivotal role. Now, uh, a pivotal role is a very important role. And here we have sole responsibility of parents. So are we really discussing both of the opinions? So here we say, discuss both views. Are we really discussing the opinion? Are we really presenting the side that says it's the sole responsibility of parents? You see, sometimes we have to be careful with the words that we choose. And it's not just a matter of, oh, pivotal is a nice word. Let's throw it in there. You know, if, if you do things like that and you just want to use vocabulary that you know uh, at the expense of your position, I don't think it's a good idea because not only is your position unclear, but also the cohesion, how linked, how linked your answer is from top to bottom is also confusing. Okay, so here we're saying sole responsibility and here we're saying it's a pivotal, they play a pivotal role. So if they play a pivotal role, it doesn't negate the fact that schools can play a role as well, even if it's maybe not as significant as uh, the parents' role. Okay, um, so if children are raised in a manner to make them care for their family, they would tend to mirror this for every other member of the society and hence will turn out as positive contributors. For instance, a research has shown that most of the adults who were taught to care for their family usually take care of residents inhabiting, inhabiting near them. Okay, so this is the second argument. Um, we do have a problem because here it's saying a pivotal role. Um, also, um, this is something that I commonly see uh, among students. Um, they have a discussion and opinion essay and sometimes they seem to really support the opinion to make a stronger argument for the opinion that they disagree with than their own opinion. So sometimes the, the, the reader, which is, uh, you know, uh, for you guys uh, that are watching, it's going to be the examiner. Okay. Now, Sorry, I just lost my track of thought. I have to apologize for that. So, uh, as I was saying, sometimes um, the reader, which is uh, the examiner, is confused as to why you took that approach, why you took that position in the first place, when the opposite opinion seems to be stronger than your own opinion. Okay, so it, it, it's a you know it's a good idea to make the the opposing opinion to to your own a little bit weaker than yours, just to justify your position. It's also a good idea maybe to add a concluding sentence that maybe, uh, you know, maybe a sentence that um, refutes the idea. Okay, so uh, you could add anything that really uh, goes against the argument just in order to weaken it maybe here. Or possibly in the second body paragraph, you could introduce an idea that goes against, um, that refutes the idea in the previous body paragraph. Okay, um, 
So, so we have these two body paragraphs here. Um, we do seem to have a weakness in the second, in the second one, uh, in the second position, which is the position of the writer. Uh, then we have by analysing the above, it can be concluded that there is an undeniable role of schools producing good members of society. Okay. Um, so here we, we're saying that there is an undeniable role. Okay, so here we're not denying the role of the schools. And then you say, How, however, others, including myself, think that the role of parents is another key factor which cannot be ignored. Okay, so we do have an issue because like the, the writer didn't like totally agree with one of the sites. So here we say, um, here we have turning to the, to the people, including myself. So uh, the writer doesn't 100% believe that it is the sole responsibility of one of them. Okay. Um, so we do have, you know, some kind of inconsistency here in the position. And something like that could really affect uh, task achievement, uh, coherence and cohesion, um, uh, and so on. So here we have a more uh, Okay, so, um, so we have the task achievements and cohesion and coherence. These are always uh, affected uh, negatively by, um, by inconsistencies. And usually, you know, when there is an inconsistency within uh, the essay, both of these two end up as six. Um, now, even though we did have, uh, we did have, you know, um, some nice vocabulary, some natural use of vocabulary. We did also have some issues with collocations and with grammar as well. Okay, so uh, let me just point out some of the, the problems with language. According to some people, it's the sole responsibility of parents to, take their, to make their children a good member of society while. Now, while others uh, think that it is the responsibility of school only, here we have a dependent clause. This clause here needs, it needs another clause because it cannot function by itself. It cannot give you a, clean, a clear a, you know, uh, meaning by itself. For example, if I say, if you study hard, and then I stop. If you study hard what? You'll pass your exam. When I woke up in the morning, when I woke up in the morning, what? Oh, when I wake, when I woke up in the morning, I felt happy. Um, while some people disagree with this opinion, I believe that blah de blah de blah. So we cannot put these dependent clauses by themselves. We need to combine them with an independent clause to complete it. So a way of fixing this is we could join the two sentences together and we could make them one sentence and that would be a lot more beneficial for us. Um, so that is a grammatical issue there. And then we have, we point out an important factor. So we point out, not point on. Okay, so this is a collocation. Okay, we point out something. Um, and then we have the preposition with harmony. We use uh, in harmony as a, a, a collocation. Okay. Um, after that we have as a re result of, a result of something. So that is a collocation as well. Um, here we had for the welfare. Welfare of who? The welfare of the community uh, and so on. Then we have the past of raised. 
Raise is a regular verb. So the past and the past participle are the same. Raise, raised, raised. Um, then we have take care of residents. Okay. Um, I do think uh, the writer uh, did use a few too many uh, phrasal verbs. Point out, take care of, uh, you know, take care of, and, and so on. I think there were a few too many phrasal verbs, and phrasal verbs aren't that aren't that formal. So it probably wasn't the best thing to do to use, you know, all these uh, phrasal verbs. It would affect. Um, uh, the formality of uh, the essay. Okay, so because of issues uh, like with the collocations and, uh, and stuff like that, definitely LR will suffer as a consequence. I think um, GRA seems good. There don't seem to be any, uh, you know, any major problems other than the clause here that should have been uh, joined. Um, yeah, a few small, small things. Uh, nothing uh, that serious. So I'm going to say that this is a, uh, overall the dreaded 6.5. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, keep on following the channel uh, for more analysis and videos like this. Thanks for watching.